Welcome to this week's All-in-One Tip video, sponsored by the HVZ1 Workstation and presented by Catalyst. My name is Kurt Marino, I'm a CAD manager and blogger for the Kung Fu Drafter, and this week I'll be sharing some quick and easy tips for AutoCAD users, Sketchbook Designer users, and an office etiquette tip I think we can all use. So let's get right to it. Our first tip is for AutoCAD users. The use of command aliases is one of the most powerful practices that an AutoCAD user can employ. With the alias editor, users create aliases for all sorts of commands in addition to those that come prepackaged with the software. So why not use the alias editor to create an alias for the alias editor? To create this alias, open the Express Tools tab on the ribbon. Click on the Command Alias icon in the Tools panel to open the AutoCAD Alias Editor. Click on the Add button to open the New Command Alias dialog box and enter the alias you wish to use. Place the cursor into the AutoCAD Command field and begin typing Alias Edit. Click OK to close the dialog box. Finally, click Yes to the Overwrite Warning and OK to the Acknowledgement. That's it. You created a command alias that's going to make creating new aliases even faster and easier. Our second tip is for people working with Sketchbook Designer. New users are often intimidated by this powerful graphic application. But don't worry, regardless of your artistic ability, anyone can create a great illustration using these handy tips. Every masterpiece begins with one stroke. But what if your one stroke isn't all that it could be? With the Attribute Editor, there's no need to delete that first stroke if you're working on a vector layer. As long as your curve is active, you'll be able to use the Attribute Editor to change various characteristics such as size, color, and even the brush type. This sort of flexibility will allow even the most novice user's illustrations to come to life. So don't be afraid to experiment and walk on the creative side. Before we get to our last tip, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor. This week's all-in-one tip is sponsored by the new HPZ1, the world's first all-in-one 27-inch workstation. The HPZ1's revolutionary design incorporates all system components within a 27-inch display that opens to let you swap parts and make upgrades without the need for tools. Visit hp.com backslash Z1 for more information on the all-new Z1. Now for our last tip. Ah, the office. It's where we spend most of our waking hours. So it's no wonder that spaces can become tight and tempers can flare when certain areas of office etiquette are ignored. Areas like the office refrigerator. All of this can be avoided with some simple policies and all it takes is one person to get the ball rolling. Start with a simple sign explaining the refrigerator rules. We suggest four simple rules. One, all office food must be labeled with a name. Two, all office food must be covered or sealed. Three, all perishable items, like milk, must be gone before they expire. And four, all food must be gone Friday afternoon or just thrown away. Keeping the office a pleasant place for everyone may take a little bit of effort, but keeping the office refrigerator a happy zone is well worth it and will keep everybody's patience fresh. Thanks for watching this week's Catalyst All-in-One Tip video, and thanks again to our sponsor, the HPZ1 Workstation.